Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Battletech? <laughs> How you doing? Um, so here's what I've done. I have found a store. I, I've looked a lot around and I can't find, I can't seem to find a matching Cyclops part. I'm not going to give up on the Cyclops, but what I have found is at this black market, they're selling Annihilator parts. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to get an Annihilator. And the reason is it's not arbitrary. Um, it's that I don't really have a ballistics mech. I have a lot of rocket mechs and I have a lot of energy based mechs, but I haven't really made much use of the auto cannons and it would be good to, um, diversify a little bit. They do have Cyclops parts, but the Annihilator is just like so barely more expensive. And it's 100 tons versus 90 tons. So I think that it would be pretty cool. Um, it's very, very slow, but I think it is also a really cool looking mech. And um, I'd like to I'd like to add one to my arsenal. So I've gone ahead and sold pretty much all of our extra parts, save for the Cyclops and the Zeus on the off chance we find uh, a Zeus part. And uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make use of this. F after this, I'm gonna probably have to just look at weapons because like i haven't really done any looking at weapons like we've got some pretty good auto cannons here we've got a uac 10 what is this ultra ac 10s improve upon the already impressive capabilities of the standard model let's pick that up i think that would be a great um addition for the annihilator seeing as it is ballistics based we have equipment that i could probably look at i should probably get another cockpit mod um, comm systems, all mechs come equipped with a stock cockpit configuration can be upgraded to improve performance. Comm system upgrades, a uh, plus four resolve. Oh, that's kind of nice. And then we have TT TTS. I would love to get more TTS. These things are amazing. Um, I might even, um, I think we are going to retire the Marauder. I don't think that it's pulling its weight anymore to be honest it it kind of maybe i'm just I, I just think that because it hasn't been able to make those shots but it hasn't been making those shots because we've been going up against harder things so what i'd like to do is um take the marauder i believe it has our one tts did i lose no yeah we do have a tts on there and i'm gonna put that in the annihilator actually i don't know if it, it is a uh, this thing is energy based so we can't actually put it in anything except energy-based weapons, but we could put it in the um, awesome. And we do take, we do do less damage with the called shots. It is worth noting. Um, I do want to strip the Marauder. I, I really feel bad doing this. The Marauder has done such good work for us, but it's got really, really good gear. Um, and I, I'm, I'm gonna shelf it. I'm not gonna sell it, just not yet. But I definitely want to um, distribute some of its better weaponry. Uh, for instance, I do think, where is it? Who is it? Is it the Highlander that? Wait, what? What? what oh, is it? It's the Awesome that has like three PPCs. We could put um, some better heat on the Awesome. Heat distribution, um, heat sink Ds would be pretty good these things weigh how much only one ton so these are just like straight up better in every way to uh like the other heat sinks then uh this ctc does actually weigh something so it's not free um so we're gonna have to take something else off but we'll figure this out we are gaining quite a bit of weight back so i could take off maybe one more heat sink but we still have more heat sink d's Let's put another... Oh, they, they do take up three slots. It's worth mentioning. So our heat sink... I don't think we've gained any heat efficiency. At least not yet. Um, oh, that's because I, t I took off our heat sinks. Hold on. We have another D. We, we have at least one more D. Um, let's take off those two and put that on. And then put one more basic heat sink on max our armor we're pretty much there um we could put like one more 
We couldn't put a la large laser on there. What could we put on? Support laser, I suppose. Yeah, let's put a support laser on just to fill out that last little bit. And um, yeah, this is this is good. Also, we do have um, better PPCs. So let's take that off, put that on, take that off, put that on. Good to put uh, like I don't want the we're not putting that PPC on the on the hand. We're going to put it on the on the shoulder because then they have it has a like a better chance of kind of um, surviving. All right, so that's 13 days that this thing's going to be in the shop. I think the awesome was going to be pretty good, but we do have to look at the annihilator. Now we have quite a lot of weaponry we can slap on this thing. We could just leave it as is, and I think that this would be fine. Um, what? What is? What, does this require special ammo? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's just it just takes AC ammo, which, by the way, we're gonna put in the legs. <laughs> I always do that, don't I? Um, let's take off this one AC ten and put on an AC. UAC 10 plus plus I don't think I have any other special ACs we could um, these are 8 versus the 10 which is 12 so there's no reason to have like a you know two AC 5s versus an AC 10 but this is plus 10 damage um, we could like take off some lasers and and slap on another auto cannon We're already not good for armor right now, actually. I should take off those medium lasers and then just max out the armor. This thing is actually really hurting for armor. We don't need as many heat sinks, I don't think. This thing probably is going to generate quite a lot of heat. ACs are actually not um, very heat efficient compared to something else. Yeah, like an uh, LRM 10 generates 10. AC 10 generates 12. It's not much more, but it is something. Let's put on uh, better medium lasers. And this thing, actually, this thing is plus 20 ballistic damage, plus 40 ma Like, we don't really gain anything from putting medium lasers on it. It's nice, but I would rather have the armor. And actually, it's already... It's still not good armor-wise. Um... I might take off an AC-10 and replace it with an AC-5 and then max the armor. Let's see where we at. That's not bad. This is better. This is much better. I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, do we... Can we put a cockpit mod in it? We can. Um, we have a couple of these that we should use them up. <clears throat> we should put one in the crab. And be too hard. Yeah, let's put one in the crab. Um, we should get some better heat sinks for the crab. It's not gr like we don't have very good heat sinks right now. Let's see if there's any in the store. Uh takes a long time sometimes that okay there we go we know we have the just the basic heat sink this is a ballistic tts actually not bad but it's too expensive for us we we are kind of running low on cash now okay we don't have better heats so we're gonna we might start start having to be picky choosy about what we take from the battlefield not just mech parts but actually like um, you know, heat sinks that matter. This is pretty good. I'm happy with this. We still have our LRMs. We still have the lasers. Better heat management would be good. Right. I'll get it in the Highlander. Highlander's doing all right. I think the gauze rifle matches well with the LRMs. Um, not sure what that medium laser is accomplishing on there. TBH. Um, we could put some support lasers on it. We could put some... Mm, no, we're not going to put machine guns on it. 
we could take this off and then put some small lasers on it the highlander is actually sort of mobile actually kind of mobile we could put a third one on there that all it's you know we don't <laughs> that that freaks me out every time um this this is good i i would like to put that coil m on something maybe the battle master i think it was already on there oh it is already on there okay okay so um we have a good arrangement of mechs we're gonna make our way over to um the campaign mission i think that that is the thing to do like we're we're we're, re we're ready i don't think that there's much more preparing we could do we could get some more weapons um but um i think we're fairly well armed contacts contracts okay um it's a really nice mission there for two but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get distracted here we go war council Our mechs need to repair anyway, so it, we're going to have some travel time. We're going to be a little bit strapped for cash. I know we're almost broke. I understand this. We're almost always broke. All right, I'll do a pause. Darius opens the morning briefing with a scowl on his face. We picked up new supplies a few weeks ago. And we're just now opening up some of the crates of machine tools. And, well, I can't believe this has happened again, but Yang practically explodes from his chair. We have more frozen triple F burger meat. Do you know how hard this stuff is to come by in the periphery? Dr. Murad sighs audibly. Please tell me that the refrigeration was still operational. I don't want to repeat of last time. Don't worry, Doc. My team will take good care of the, uh, take care of the goods. Flashes you a winning smile. What do you say, Commander? Burgers on the menu? Um, <laughs> task Darius with selling them on the market. Our, if we had Argo Hydroponics, we could have uh, recreated an authentic Triple F burger. Dang. Destroy the meat is probably going to lower morale. Sure, we'll give the crates to, of meat to morale. To, to Yang. Oh, wow. Yang's eager face makes it a little harder to strike a stern tone. Chief, I'm going to give you this shipment, but you add it forcefully. This time, I don't want to find half of your technicians in the med bay. I want those things cooked well done, and then some. Later in the week, word spreads of the dinner that Yang threw for the mech techs, complete with a fresh batch of engine room rust gut. While not everyone got a chance to partake, the persistent smell of barbecued triple F has somehow increased refit predictivity and your mech warriors are happy with the results more morale company gains a plus one tech boost for seven days nice awesome all right let's um let's get our oh wait we, we're, we're still waiting we still have to uh travel to weldry we're almost there though cool proceed with the current contract let's do this we'll see uh what we have and I promise you that our forces are maintaining a firm upper hand against this false restoration. Thanks in part to the support of our newfound allies in the Torian Conquerant. Just today, those allies, led by the heroic Commodore Samuel Ostacom, liberated my own daughter, oh, cool. Victoria, from insurgent captivity. And though the fight was hard, our new friends won the day through the strength of their courage and the virtue of their purpose. Soon, we will end this war. And when we do, we will turn our attention back to the expansion of our industry and the betterment of our people. Long live the Torian Concordant, and long live the Oregon Directorate! Saw that coming a million trillion light years away. God damn it. That's really annoying. 
Why do they always insist on taking the very important, annoying character prisoner instead of just like, I don't know, killing them? Anna Maria, I summoned you here to discuss long-term strategy, but we have a crisis to address. You've seen my uncle's broadcast, what Ostrogard did to Lord Carosas, what his soldiers are still doing to the people of Smithen. I am honor-bound to ride to their defense. Kamei, if you got much bigger things to worry about than Smithen, I won't miss mince words here. Your cause is very nearly lost. With only a small fraction of their fleet, the Torians have you dramatically outgunned, given the chance that Iberia uh, alone could break your army in two. Why are the Torians fighting for the Directorate? Do you have any c concrete answers? If you're looking for proof, I can't help you, but I can tell you what I think is behind all of this. The Perdition Massacre. I believe that House Davian's attack on the Concordat created an opportunity for Espinosa and unfortunately for us. I believe that he has taken it. What opportunity? Spell it out for me. Protector Calderon believes that a Davian uh, invasion of the Torian Concordat is imminent. In the Directorate, he sees a convenient pawn and a buffer to protect a poorly defended stretch of the Concordat's border. If the Directorate's weapons have been coming from the Torians, I imagine they've had an agreement in place for some time. That timing makes sense. My arming, by arming the Directorate, Calderon would be fortifying his own border against invasion. When Espinosa learned about Castle Nautilus, he must have used it as a bargaining chip to get the Torians into the war on his side. In a limited intervention, but yes. Calderon would have leapt at the chance to claim an SLDF armory, with a major war imminent. The capture of a fully stocked outpost castle could have provided the Torians with a tremendous advantage. But you destroyed the armory and killed their soldiers, and apparently destroyed one of their dropships on Anvelt. I suspect that your problems with the Torian Concordant have only just begun. If Commodore Ostergaard wants to hurt us, he has to find us. The Reach is a big place. Of course it is. That's why Torian battle mechs are sacking Smithen, even as we speak. He's trying to lure Lady Arano to him. It's a deliberate provocation, Kamea. You must realize that. We fought against the Torians on our true. We know what we're up against, so let's talk about how we're going to win this. Not through direct confrontation. If you let Ostergaard bait you into attacking him on Smithen, you will die, as will Lady Arano. This isn't hyperbole, Kamea. You will die if you take the field against them, and your restoration will perish with you. What would you counsel me to do then? Nothing? Would you have me sit on my hands while a Torian butcher murders the people I've sworn to protect? I would advise you to lead your army carefully, and to stay out of battles you cannot win. Kamea, listen to me. There is still hope, but you won't find it on the battlefield. Can hope bloom on the battlefield, though? The alliance between the Torians and the Directorate is tenuous, far more so than they would have you believe. Protector Calderon knows what kind of man your uncle is. We could turn allies into enemies if we pay our card, play our cards right. Um, if that's true, why would he join forces with Espinosa in the first place? His nation is teetering on the brink of war with the Federated Sons, Commander Beard. And for all the Concordat's bravado, it would certainly lose such a conflict. Given the circumstances, it, is it really so surprising that he'd accept an offer of friendship? If open warfare does erupt, he's going to need all the help he can get. As I said, I am sure that we can turn the situation to our advantage, even as we speak. My agents are digging for information that will open a rift between our enemies. And I'm confident that they, that they will find it. But Kamea, none of this will mean anything if you let Ostergaard goad you into a suicidal charge. So I beg you, ignore him. Stay away. She can't do that, Lady Centrella. It, if you'd been here before we liberated the system, if you'd seen the things we'd seen, you'd know better than to ask. I appreciate your advice, Anna Maria, but, I were, if, but were I to follow it, the Oregon people would lose faith in me, and they'd be right to do so. I owe it to them to be better than that, and so I will fight but not in the way that our enemies expect. Tell me what you mean. Ostergaard expects me to deploy my army against his fo forces on Smithen, to lead from the front, as I have in our battles with the Directorate. You've convinced me that this is a risk I cannot take, and so if he expects me to come at him with a hammer, I will use a scalpel instead. I trust that your company is up to the task. Oh, cool, they're going to send me in instead. 
my company alone against the Torian assault force. It'll be an adventure. That it will, and I'll be guiding you on the comms every step of the way. You have my answer, Anna Maria. I won't be taking the field myself, and I won't redirect my army. But I'll be damned if I, if I let Ostergaard's troops slaughter my people without a fight. Your mercenaries have been one of your key advantages in this war, Kamea. By doing this, you're putting them in at grave risk. But if your heart is set on returning to Smithen, I am powerless to stop you. Instead, I'll wish you good luck and take my leave. I'll be in touch when my agents know more. But please, Kamea, stay safe. I don't know if I can stabilize the Reach without you. I won't let Ostergaard kill me, Anna Maria, I promise. Lady Arano's contract to repel Torian assault on Smithen is ready to, for review. Yeah, let's do it. It's a, only three difficulty, but there's been funny things happening with the difficulty. Oh, wait, we have to travel? Why didn't you guys... Okay, fine. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to do one more financial uh, report. What? In the daily briefing, Samaira brings up an open hail from a nearby ship. They say their crew has contracted a vi virulent case of the periphery pox, but the local government is preventing them from landing to receive medical care. Darius shrugs. We could sell them some of our medical supplies. It would limit us in the med bay for a bit, but given our situation, I expect they'd pay up. Dr. Murad bristles at the suggestion. Spacers should stick together, Commander. Besides, the local authorities might appreciate our gener generosity. Sure. I mean, it sucks. We gain one reputation with the Arana restoration. Our morale increased, which would be nice, except, you know, we don't have enough money. We're going to go bankrupt unless I win this next mission. But we will win. It's funny how things can turn around so, like, severely. We can also sell some stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we can- we have a bunch of extra weapons we don't need to- to have around. Alright. We have four more days. Oh, god. There is stuff by your quarters to recite an invitation. On, on behalf of our barracks denizens, I am formally charged with requesting your attendance at an assembly of the mech warriors in the lounge this evening. Libations- Libations will be consumed alongside a screening of the recent Solaris ch Championship. In the less official tone, Darius adds, Medusa managed to pick up an official holovid somehow. I expect that our mech warriors are going to watch the fight and get very drunk. Accept the invitation. Morale increased. Well, that's nice. When you arrive in the lounge that evening, the mech warriors cheer. Medusa starts the holovid while Glitch passes around refreshments. The fight is exciting, although one-sided. The main question is how Grey Norton will pull off a victory, rather than if, if he will. For a few hours, you're able to set aside the burden of command and just be a mech warrior among mech warriors. And we're here. Let's, let's just go right into it, because we're out of money. Um, okay, Glitch, you're gonna be in the Annihilator. What's wrong with the Annihilator? Is it underweight? Um, hoping it's underweight. Hold on, we're gonna have to have a quick check here. What is up with the Annihilator? Does it not have enough ammo? It has AC 10 ammo. It doesn't have AC 5 ammo. Right. Okay, let's put the heat sinks in the torso. And we'll put some AC 5 ammo on here. Um, that's going to take two days. Let's just do that. I think it's worth having that little bit of extra firepower. Two days done. Ugh. Okay. 
defense smithen. This is gonna this is gonna be a toughie, I'm sure. So we're gonna have the annihilator. Is the battle master worth swapping in? I don't think so. Maybe uh, against the awesome, but I don't think it's that much better. This is gonna be a desert planet, so unfortunately the the energy based mechs are gonna take a hit. But we do have um, a ballistics one, so that's better. All right, let's roll. Um, actually, let's swap in Mandrake. I really don't want to have a fresh recruit in in uh, in this one. All right. Let's see what we got. Spaceport in front of you is packed wall to wall with civilians, most of them refugees from the capital. The Torians have been targeting them as enemy combatants. I need your help to keep those people safe until we can evac them safely. We have three of the late Lord Carosa's dropships en route to assist with the evacuation. The captain of each vessel will call in on approach. Shepard 1 will be heading for docking pad Alpha. Shepard 2 is set to dock at pad Charlie. And Shepard 3 is heading to, for pad Bravo. You'll need to keep the enemy's eyes on you and away from the docking pad pads. Above all, you need to keep them from firing on the docking pads fuel reserves or reservoirs while the dropships are being loaded. Any hostiles that you fail to engage will almost certainly target the fuel tanks. If they manage to take one out, the resulting explosion will wipe out everything nearby. Dropships, refugees, you name it. You can see a fuel tank's estimated blast radius in red on your screen. Shoot. Good luck, Commander. The Torians aren't going to make this easy. Protect our ships. Help them get our people home safe. Quite, uh, quite the, the allotment we have here. We've got our first thing. Wow, that Jenner really ran for it, huh? Might honestly just like beat the crap out of them. Um, we have the do we have all oh, the coil M's on the battle master? God damn it! This would have been ideal. It would have been an ideal situation. Yes, commander. Um, yeah, let's. Let's uh, we're close enough. We can actually hit it with support. Why don't we just go up up and punch it? Reserve some of our heat. We'll do some really nice damage. Punch. Right. As long as you keep attacking those hostiles, they won't be able to focus on the fuel tanks. Keep pressuring them. Do we knock it over? Nice. Oh, and we have, uh, we actually have, like, you know, allies. I hear ya. We're gonna move up. This is the Annihilator. It really can't move that f f far. We don't have a lot of ammo in the Annihilator, so we should reserve it if possible. So I'm gonna just hit it with the PPC. The Jenner, I mean. There we go. That's our first mech taken care of. That's a kill. That's a kill. Those turrets will hopefully be um, useful in like reducing evasion. Um, we got a thunderbolt. Just like lob some stuff over at it. Nothing too much. Like I don't expect to do that much damage. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh sucks that we can't hit it from here, so we'll just sprint forward.
What do we got? Yeah. Yeah, re kill that evasion on the Thunderbolt. Perfect. Should be able to do some nice damage. Full burn approach, destination pad alpha. We've got enemy flankers incoming. Are you kidding me? We got another Jenner absolutely booking it. We got bad guys. Oh, this is uh this is a lot. We got a dude just like on the hill. Um can We can't really get over there. We can't jump over there. See if we can't do some damage to that Thunderbolt. Moving out. I'm gonna aim for the head. I don't expect to hit it, but you never know. Take this. We actually we we got something. What? And there's more where that came from. Wait, no, we didn't get it. I thought we No, I guess we didn't hit it. Hard to tell sometimes. I wish the game was a better had better performance, you know? It the the frames are really bad in this game sometimes. Moving out. Okay. Um oh, we can't do a multi-hit. Shoot. Alright, well I guess we'll just like lob some missiles over at that Thunderbolt. Nice. One less target. Got a lucky hit there. That Jenner is just gonna kind of be a problem. Really not sure what to do about the, you know, mechs over here. We can try to move over there. Um, we got that Jenner to worry about. Um, kind of want to hit that Battlemaster. We can only hit it with our LRMs, though. So let's hit the Battlemaster and maybe the Jenner as well. This isn't great, but I'll do it. We want to reduce the evasion on that Battlemaster before it gets in here. We missed completely on the Jenner. Waiting for orders. Awesome has quite a bit of heat built up, unfortunately. We can hit it with some support lasers and like one PPC. Target acquired. Cool, miss. Nice. Did they hit the shoot at the battle master? That's good. I don't know why my performance is so bad right now. Shepard one has arrived. More hostiles incoming. Oh, come on. Really? For honor, for liberty, and for Victorian conquered it. Striker took some damage. Yeah, I know I have to keep them engaged, but how in the hell am I supposed to hit these guys all the way over there? They're gonna absolutely kill those fuel reserves. Okay, we can actually hit that thing now. Um, can I get closer? 
can't quite get close enough to hit that other one still i'll take it it's just a commando god damn it really I'm just engaging with it. I'm not like trying to kill it. Killing it would be nice, but we're kind of beyond that point, you know? What can I do for you? Commander. Um, let's take another punch at that Jenner. Well, we'll punch this Jenner. Roger. Nice. Good things are happening right now, but it's kind of hard to uh, stay optimistic. Standing by. Okay, we don't have multi-hit on this guy, so I uh, on Mandrake, so we're just gonna go up and try and hit that enforcer as hard as we can. We only have a 5% chance, so I'm not going to try anything, like, tricky here. We'll try and hit the ammo. Nice. Excellent. Those look like three, like, really solid hits. Um, I think if I move over here, like... It's in danger because of the fuel reservoir, uh, reservoir, not because of the dropship. But I'm really, it's hard to tell. Can we hit? No, we can't. Um, this sucks. Hold on. Okay, let's try this. I guess we can't hit that battle master up there. Um, we do want to hit that if we can. Screw it. I'm gonna move up. You betcha. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. We killed it. Bang, you're dead. Worried about this one because it could very well hit the reserve or the reservoir. I should keep. I don't know why I'm saying reserve, you know. Cool, the turret knocked down the uh, enforcer. This is very good news. Ooh, ooh, nice. If they could take it out, it would be. Oh. That'd be really nice. No. I'm, I'm a little worried about that battle master. Payload is secure and we're preparing for launch. They're shooting the turrets. I don't mind so long as they don't actually kill them. Is that that exploded? What are they shooting at? I can't tell. The camera is so bad in this game. Oh, they're shooting at the fuel. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We got to do something about that. Um, we're going to have Glitch do this. No. Decker. Decker doesn't have multi-hit. Neither does Mandrake. The only one who has multi-hit is Glitch. We do have four. Okay, this is ridiculous, but it's potentially going to save us the mission here. I'm going to do a multi hit on the battle master. On the guy on the ground. The Jenner. 
and uh, we're, we're basically aggroing everything. Um, I should be able to hit it. Please? Please don't be annoying right now. Do I have it? Oh, it can only multi-hit three things. Okay, um, let's not hit the enforcer then. Okay, I'm struggling with the interface. I didn't know you could only multi-hit three things. Okay, we're gonna hit that. The Jenner. I genuinely think that the heat right now is making my PC struggle. We'll hit those three things. Um, Battlemaster with the AC-10. Jenner with um, an AC-10. And then... AC5 on the Panther. Okay. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. So we missed horribly, but we managed to kill the the enforcer. How did that happen? How do you miss so bad you hit this guy? That's hilarious. Okay, um, can maybe do some fun things with a crab here. Kind of want to take out that spider. We're not great for heat right now. We can just stay put. We don't act. I, I, it's taken me this long to figure out you can actually just rotate your your turret, your uh, your mech. Let's kind of go hog on that um, battle master. Um, where are all of its weapons? Okay, let's hit that ammo. Not bad. You never know, we might actually, uh, do something here. We would love to hit with the support laser. Oh, I mean, we're hit shooting PPCs. Support lasers are really not great in this circumstance. Okay. Also, we don't... We're, our heat management right now is not great. Well, we can shoot with two PPCs and maintain our heat, so that's actually pretty good. Did I call the torso? I meant to call the uh, shoulder. Ready for orders. Move order received. Acknowledge. We missed with the gauze rifle. That was like our best chance of maybe uh, doing something good there. Battlemaster's knocked over. I don't think we have anyone left in the turn order. However, the turrets can maybe do some nice stuff to it. Nope, never mind. It was the last in the turn order, so it gets to get up and do stuff. Some nasty hits on the awesome. Mandrake took some damage there. Okay, here comes the third dropship. Does that sec mean the second one is uh, the first one's away? Cool. So we don't have to worry too much about that fuel anymore. That one is still in danger, though.
did some damage to the turret. I actually almost killed it. Shoot. Okay, please don't shoot that. Okay, good. Oh, they shot the turret. Well, that, I mean, that's not great, but... Oh, cool. So we're, we're losing our turrets. Okay, give me one second. All right, I killed some extra... Killed some processes to make sure that I have enough... Like, I don't know why my, you know, I'm struggling with this game, but I am a little bit. Okay, can we try and kill that battle master? Shut down alert. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Good enough. Nice. Shoulder is destroyed. Ammo explosion pilot injured. Good, good, good. Battlemaster's taking some nasty damage. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Can we take it out with the gauze? That'd be ideal. Roger that. PPC crit. Knocked over. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, the game is really struggling to perform right now. I'm sorry about that. Standing by. Let's uh, see if we can't kill that battle master. Cool. That's a very big mech off the field. I cannot stand that voice. I'm sorry. It sucks so much. Okay. Um. Let's not care. I'm not going to care about the spider. Let's just hit that fire starter up there. We should be able to kill it with our firepower. Got it. Very nice. We didn't kill it. We blew off a lot of parts on it, but we did not kill it. Uh, but at least we don't lose our, our turret. It got knocked over. This is good. Pilot killed. Okay, so we're good there. Shepard 3 has arrived. Second, uh, that second drop pit, uh, ship is left. There's probably going to be one more chunk of turrets on the way. No? No. Okay, so we're almost done then. Oh shoot. That spider managed to get some shots off on the on the stupid No! Stop it! Oh my god. Good to go. Okay, we're gonna start by trying to kill this stupid spider that I should have taken out. No, we don't want to sprint. We want to jump. Jump here. Over heat warning. There we go. Hit it. We definitely want to go hit that Jenner, but I don't know with what. Can we maybe hit it with glitch? No, we can't hit it with anyone. Oh, we can hit it with... We can hit it with the Highlander. Only barely, though. And not well, either. Position confirmed. We need to, though, because it's going directly for the uh, fuel reservoir. Engaging with target. Just to divert it. Nice. Something. Now, can we hit that last? Oh, apparently we could have hit it with Mandrake. Waiting on you, Commander. Really wish we could shoot at that last guy over there, because I don't think anyone has done anything to it. Yes, Commander. We can take some shots on the Jenner with the PPCs.
That is, that is a tricky shot right there. Uh, we can hit it in the leg. Blow its leg out. What can I do for you? So we can't hit anything with glitch. She is not in a great position. Oh, we should have um, done a sensor lock. If I'd done a sensor lock on that last uh, on that last mech over there, then maybe some of the turrets could have shot at it. S spider is shooting. Oh no. Okay, what is the Jenner gonna do? Shooting at the turret. This is good. Okay, we need to... Um, why can't I see that last mech? Okay, we're going to go over here and do a sensor lock on it. We cannot take a... We can't risk the idea of it, like, shooting at the fuel reservoir. We should be able to hit it with the crab. Good. Not great, but good. So, I think that means we... Nothing is gonna attack the reservoir at this point. We should be good. Receiving you. Oh, we can actually hit that panther with the gauze. Let's try and do that. It's got a SR SRM4 and a PPC. Where's the ammo? Torso. Let's do it. Locked on. Nice. That gauze really is nice. If you it it, it pretty much always hits the ammo. Like it almost always crits the ammo, I should say. Try and just take it out now. There it is. The auto cannons are quite nice, I have to say. When you have a lot of them, they they are really good together. What was that? Okay, that's the Jenner shooting at the turret and missing apparently. Okay, so everything's away, so we just have to destroy what's left. This camera is really just all over the place. Okay, we'll take some shots on the spider. Honestly, let's just do three LRM5s and then we can get some heat back. Like, I can take my time a little bit. We didn't even get close to, to using all of our auto cannon uh, weapon ammo, I should say. Acknowledged. So we'll do precision strike. Give us our, give ourselves a better chance of hitting this thing. Oh, yeah. Nice. That hit. <laughs> that one little rocket took out its its uh, center torso. Awesome. Um, shoot. So what's like? Can't really get to what's left. Just have to kind of make my way over there. It's just in a really annoying position. 
I guess I should have sensor locked it with glitch and then I could have shot it with uh, Decker. Waiting on you, Commander. Going turbo. Ugh. Imagine this what last mech shoots the fuel reservoir and takes out glitch. That'd be the most like horribly dramatic way to go Target confirmed. Inflicted some heavy damage Wow, those, those are some really good hits, actually. We should be able to take it out with what we've got left here. Yeah, it was like the first rocket killed it. That's the last of them. Good job. If it wasn't your for your lance, all those refugees would have died here today. Your mercenary fought well, Lady Arano, but know that this is only this has only just begun. None of us can return home until you have been captured or killed. And for every Torian mech that you destroy, ten more will risk to take its place. And we will defeat them, Commander, just as we defeated you. Mission successful. Okay. I wasn't as bad as I was dreading. Wasn't too bad at all. No, I don't think anyone, any one of our mechs got, like, seriously injured. We got very good pay. All three drop ships escaped. We only got two million? Honestly, I, th I find that surprising. I would have thought that uh, two million would have been the base price for that. Uh, Mandrake did get injured. That's fine. Um, we could take some... Oh... I mean, I don't think I even like the Battle Master, so if I take it, I'm taking it for parts. But, like, we can't really complete anything here except for maybe the Jenner. And, like, is that worth it? I'd rather just get chunky parts. Enforcer. I mean, there's some good stuff like a large laser. Do we have some, like, other stuff like that? Yeah. We, we need to start prioritizing, like, decent weaponry and not... Just like parts. Um, do we have any good heat sinks? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well then let's take those two medium laser plus plus. Um, I guess we could take the small laser, but I at that point I think I could I'd rather just take a battle master part because it, it'll sell for more and I can buy something like a support laser plus plus. And they gave us Jenner parts. That's fine. We also got the support laser. Nice. So there'll be some story here and then we'll wrap up the episode. There might be a cutscene. Probably not. Oh, you've done it. You faced off against the Torian war machine and forced it into retreat. And if they can be driven out of one system, they can be driven from another. Your actions today have restored hope for the Oregon people. Know that. Believe it. That's good. People need hope. It'll keep them going through the times to come. The old man really rubbed off on you. Those may, ha they, those may as well have been his words. I know he'd agree with the sentiment. I'm proud to fight by your side. I hope that you're ready to pay for more of our brand of heroism in the near future, Lady Arano. We didn't destroy the Torians, we only inconvenienced them. They attacked Smithen to get to you. There's nothing stopping them from doing it again someplace else. And we'll be ready to, uh, when they do. Me on the comms and you on the battlefield. Together we will do whatever we must to defend the restoration. Um... Absolutely, but at the end of the, this road, Espinosa is mine. That's an interesting angle. 
My uncle will pay for his crimes, as will my cousin. We'll make sure of it. Lady Arena, we're, we're receiving an encoded hyper-pulse transmission. It must be a message from Lady Centrella. I have news for both of you. Uh, sorry, I have news for you both, good, both good and bad. Oh my god. We'll start with the good. My agents have established contact with a member of House Gallus, the ruling family of Ilt Itrum. They served Espinosa in the early days of the Directorate but have since fallen into disfavor. Lady Gallus claims to have information that would prove extremely damaging to your uncle. The position her family once held in the Directorate's power structure gives her words weight. Her house's downfall gives her motive. And now the bad news. Lady Gallus has been taken prisoner by the Directorate's occupation force. They have her locked away in her own castle, a gilded cage for imprisoned royalty. We, uh, we can't reach her again without liberating the system. We'd get her killed if we tried. So there you have it, a path forward. Regrettably, it won't be an easy one, and the Torians will hound you every step of the way, but then you do have a way of defying my expectations. You always have. Best of luck to you, Lady Arano. I wish you success in the battle ahead. Well, there you have it. We know where we have to go next, Itram, right in the heart of the Directorate. To say that their defenses will be formidable is a understatement. An Ostrogard will go on hounding us every step of the way. Are you sure that your people are ready for this? We'll fight and we'll win, just as we always do. You're damned right we will. And to hell with anyone who stands in our way. Let's get to it, everyone. Back to your stations. We've got a job to do. We're gonna need to do some mech repairs. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll be fine. But at least we're in the black again for money. I'm gonna level some people up. Big, simple... I'm waiting on um, extra guts. I kind of want to, uh, like, fully, you know, fill that up. Um, Decker. I'm going to go for gunnery. Glitch. We'll go for guts as well. Honestly, Decker should go for piloting. Uh, I guess I have been doing that. And Mandrake. Mandrake, um, we'll go for like, I guess we'll go for gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah. Yeah. Standing by. All right, so let's have a quick look at the mech bays. Everything went like extremely well. I don't think I would change much. Um, it would have been nice to have the Coil M, but honestly, I think that the Battlemaster would have been a downgrade overall. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like, let's have a look and see if we have our next story campaign. It doesn't look like we do. So at this point, we're going to have to start doing some more, like, missions just to buy some time. Um, I'm happy doing this, uh, hot landing. That should be good. Uh, and that'll do it for this episode. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.